welcome, welcome to kicking off this new series that I have for us going on. Just FYI, the second video that I'm going to be adding, I'm going to be saying this as well. <laughs> but I decided to make this one first because I'm so excited about the makeup that I that I use for today. It is a new collection with new sticks, which is one of my favorite brands. All of the makeup is in stick form like this, which is one of my favorite ways to apply makeup. I just love that style. So I just got in the mail and I got so excited. I'm like, okay, I have to put this video out first. So just quick disclaimer, it's coming out first, but the second video will be saying like, oh, hello, welcome, welcome to my series. Anyways, the series is seven looks in seven days of how to do everyday looks, but amplified. And it's just having like that mid glam that is perfect for during the day or in the evening, it's not not enough and it's not too much. So for me, I love that middle road glam. It's that kind of rose toned, earthy look that goes with anything and anyone. It's a really easy color scheme to put into your makeup wardrobe because that's really how I see it. I love fashion lookbooks and so that's why I wanted to do a makeup lookbook as well. And I hope you agree with me and if you do, you will love this series. I'm about to show you how freaking easy this look is. So definitely keep watching. Okay, you guys, <laughs> I'm just so excited for today. So I'm gonna start with my Coralie Vino Source. A creme sorbet oh. cream because it's nice and just water-based and it's just like this liquidy sorbet moussey oh it's just the nicest cream ever a microblading done uh, two days ago so I do have to work around that so just FYI if you're like your eyebrows look really different and what's happening <laughs> so let's zoom into the eyes and let's just do this. I'm gonna start with this stick here called Nudity. On the website they call it a metallic rose gold. It's really pretty. I think a lot, a lot of people will love this shade. So I am going to just place this all over the eye and I'm covering the whole lid. You see it just takes a second. Oh man, this color is, whew. Wow, that is really, Wow, 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 wow. I am, oh man. I just love like high, super metallic colors like that. Oh, I love them. And I just take my pinky and I just smooth out those edges. I'm gonna take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and I'm gonna put that underneath because I want a clean base like up to the brows. I'm just gonna do a very light layer just so that things look clean and that my veins and stuff aren't poking through. Oh, interesting. It's not going on quite as, oh dang it, it doesn't look the same. Huh, it looks more um, lighter and slightly washed out with the concealer underneath. Good to know, good to know. I like it better without the concealer underneath. I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer on top. I know that seems really strange. And I'm just gonna pat that around on top just to kind of dilute the color to make it match the other side. And then I'll go on top of that. Just, just to balance out the lightness that I created. Oops. Okay, so we're bouncing back from my little hot mess error. <laughs> and I'm gonna shape tape, bleep, shape tape. Then I'm going to take the shade, oh man, taupe. That's hard, try and say that. I'm gonna take the shade taupe, which is on their website. They call it a neutral brown, which is really, really good to have in your makeup kit, like, or your makeup bag, no matter what you like to do, because it goes with so many things. I'm just gonna put it out here in the crease line. Yeah. And I forgot to mention this taupe shade is a matte shade and the first one nudity on the eyelids is luminous. I really like how this shade just looks like that natural cool contouring shade. I feel really scrat scratterbrained. Seriously? Oh my gosh, I should not be filming right now. Next I'm gonna take the shade Chocolate, which is a chocolate brown. It's pretty self-explanatory. And I'm going to just place a little bit of that on the outer corner here of the lid and just kind of wedge it in there, you know? Just like that. That's it. I just wanted to add a little bit more depth to the that kind of outer third of my lid. 
and then just deepen that outer corners, that smidgen more. So you could totally leave this like this. Like this is my style where I just like to have a nice wash of shimmer on the lid and then just kind of like smoke out those creases. However, I wanted to kind of do that, that lash line. So taking uh, chocolate, I am going to emphasize the lash line. So I'm just gonna breezily go over the roots here. Now I'm gonna do my lashes and I'm personally gonna throw on these bad boys. These are Flutter Lashes in the style Serenity. They're really, really soft and comfortable, easy to put on. And when you're actually looking forward, they're really, really natural. So this might look intense to you, but just wait, j just wait until I put them on. Now that the glue is starting to become translucent, you can kind of see that a little bit. I'm gonna plonk that baby on right in the roots there. <laughs> hey. And then just anchor each corner. See how they're just kind of soft? They're not like, at least I don't think they're crazy. So keeping with the theme today with stick products, which are my favorite, Nudie, I'm gonna use the new sticks, Nudie's Tinted Blur Stick in the shade two. So if, again, if you like stick products like I do, or if you are an on the go type of makeup applier, that all that kind of stuff, you will love this. It just creates a really, really soft blurring effect with a tiny bit of color. I'm gonna brighten up my under eyes using Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Light. You get the high coverage, but without it being cakey and heavy, and it's just like perfect. It's hard to find that. So I'm just taking a sponge and just pressing that in place. Oh, I hope this footage is okay. I hope it's great, because I feel so scatterbrained. <laughs> Let's set these puppies in place. I'm using my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening, Brightening Powder. I'm gonna use my trusty Bobbi Brown bronzer in the shade medium. I feel like I use this one so much. I love it though. It's just the perfect amount of bronzer for me and I just really like that I can get it on so fast and I don't ever have to worry about it being just like going wrong. You know what I mean? Like I could leave it at that and that took what, five seconds? And I'm using a big fluffy brush cause that aids in it going faster and to kind of diffuse it so it's more of a, like a warmth. I'm not trying to like create really a high definition or anything. Oh, and this is the full flawless face brush from Bare Minerals. I love these so much. I've been using them for years, years and years. I've had these for over 10 years. My mom would get me these kits when I was younger and just, I've had them since. Just getting that general warmth everywhere. See, when I look at this, I just always think that as soon as I add bronze or everything, it just looks so much better. <laughs> So tucking back into our little tin, we are gonna use the shade Purity to do our blush and our lips. But so since I'm doing the face, I'm gonna do my blush right now. It's called the Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil. So Purity is a cool toned dusty rose. So it goes in keeping with the eye. It's a very cool colored theme and it has that slight rose undertone. So this is gonna look great with that. And if you know me, I really, really like um, monochromatic makeup. I just do. So again, with any of the matte pencils, I feel like you need to work with them fairly quickly. Like I'm not having any problems, but don't hang around. Don't like go pee mid using them. <laughs> Let's finish those under eyes and we're almost done. Like this look is so like, like sinfully easy. So I'm gonna take taupe again and I am going to just draw all along the lower lash line here. You get to just color and I just take care to meet it with the outer corner like that. Then I take my pinky and I just blend the edges a little bit. Not a whole lot. You don't need to. Then grabbing chocolate, I'm just going to grab the outer corner, just like an outer third, like very, very little. Okay. Like, like just little. And then I'm going to blend that in just slightly. It's actually kind of creating almost like a 
just like a nice sharp line but like in a good way so we've got like the easiest taupey rose gold smoky eye on the planet so one fun thing I'm gonna add is I'm gonna go back into nudity and I'm actually gonna put it on the lower lash line because I think it'll look so pretty sorry the inner the lower water line and I'm just going to gently pull my eye down and then like wipe away and then go like this So I actually really like putting a metallic uh, pencil in that waterline. I think it looks really pretty and when you move around, see like look at that, the light will catch the shimmer and it looks really cool. I'm just going to do a lick of mascara on the top just to make sure that my own lashes are blended up into the falsies and it creates a little bit more darkness at that that lash line and just a little bit on the lower lashes and we'll be back now that i've gone in and finished my eyes i look at my cheeks and i feel like i could do more so i'm going to add one more swipe to each side my daughter's having a snack they're really crunchy crackies. <laughs> Let's wrap things up. This is the second last thing I want to do. I want to put on my Laura Geller. It's the Baked Highlighter Duo, and I'm going to do this side, which is called Portofino. But actually, I'm thinking of it now. It's actually a drugstore option. It's the um, Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter, and they have a rose one now, I think. Yes, okay, Molten Rose Gold, there you go. They have four shades now, and this one, this rose gold one, wouldn't, like if you really wanted to stick to monochromatic, like totally, this would be incredible. I love this highlighter. This is by far my favorite drugstore highlighter. If It's the only one I have that I truly adore, and this one would look dope. I have the Molten Gold one, which is gorgeous, but they also have and topaz for like really deep richer skin um, tones and then peach and you know what I think I'm going to do I'm going to take a little dollop and place that just in the center of my eye there just the center so that when I move around when I look around the light will catch it differently now I'm just gonna just blend just soften those edges real quick so it doesn't look like I literally will <laughs> Ooh, I like that pop. Oh, I like that a lot, hey? Let's do the inner corners with this. You know what? I'm sure that rose gold highlighter will be next on my list, but I will say this tone, like if you have kind of a champagne-y highlighter, it looks really beautiful with these these colors. Last thing we're going to do is we are going to put purity on the lips and we're done. And I honestly, I really like this look and I hope you do too. I always like to wipe, I lick my lips and then I just take either toilet paper or, or a towel and I just wipe off any makeup that I've had on because I don't like that. I think it's yucky. It feels yucky and it'll make your, it'll just make your lip product get more cakey, which is yucky. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. That's just my lip, but deeper, you know? That's beautiful. So once I've lined my lips, I then fill it in. And there's so much pigment in these. You really don't, you don't have to go over it a lot at all. Oh, I just love to... Mm. I have to wait. Really like... I kind of want to put this on. Should I put it on? I kind of want... I kind of want to. Should I? I want a little bit. I want a little bit. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna put a tiny bit on of my mini shimmer brick in Wild Rose. I just want to, just on the apples, just to emphasize purity a little bit more. And I'm just feeling more glowy. Yeah, see, I just wanted a little bit of that pink on the front. See, I just want it. Do you love it? Because I love it. Okay, you guys, so here is the final look. What do you think? I really like it. I like it a lot. I feel like it's just a little different with like the tones that we've used. It's not like just straight browns or blacks or blue, you know, it's just like has that earthy rose tone look, which is just so delicious to me. You should definitely give these products a shot because I love 
stick products. I think they're good for any person. Like I can't think of one person that wouldn't like them unless maybe you like hate drawing things on. Maybe you wouldn't like these, but this is a great kick. So the value is excellent. But besides other than that, this is a great look to turn to yet another wonderful addition to our arsenal, our makeup belt of just looks to turn to depending on how you're feeling that day, but it's easy, it's quick, but it's also stepping outside of that book, uh, outside of the box. And it's still just like, I feel like you can wear this any time. This is my taste. I like that mid glam where it's not too soft and it's not too heavy. I live for it. So if you do too, I'm sure you will just love this look. So give it a shot and I will see you next time. Please subscribe and keep joining the fun with me and we will see you next time. Bye.